Hi friends, welcome to Wafa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 15 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about booleans in Python. So the main agenda is to know about booleans and also to know about bool function. So let's go ahead. So what booleans are? Booleans are nothing but like a outputs of expressions I can say are indirectly booleans uh, represent values like either true or false only two values a true or false these two values will be known as booleans in Python so in programming languages right whatever may be the programming language you often get a need to know any expression is true or false so you will get a need or a requirement like this expression is true or false either the output should be as a true or false so based upon that you will be doing some kind of operations if it is true then do something else if it is false then do something else so like that so that representation of true or false values happens in python using booleans so if this is not clear at this moment don't worry let's look at a practical now so let me go to visual studio code and let me click this file menu and let me open a folder so if you are following this playlist we are using a folder called python on my desktop so python demo so let me select this folder and let me load the moment i load this folder it will give me all the python files you can see all the python files whatever i have inside that folder everything appear here under explorer button okay this is like a menu icon okay so let me create a new python file here and let me name it like maybe bool.py okay so i am going to use this bool.py file for this boolean demo so as I said, booleans represent values as either true or false and expressions has to return, expressions will return their values as true or false, right? So how that will happen? Let's say like 10 greater than 5. So this is an expression actually. So the symbol what you see here, this is like an operator. Don't worry, we haven't discussed about operators yet. We will discuss them in future. So for now, let's focus like this is the expression. So this expression can be true or false. So by human eye you can say okay 10 is of course greater than 5 so this expression has to return as a true so let's try to see whether that is actually happening in the python or not so let's try to print the output of this expression 10 greater than 5 let me save these changes and then let me execute this code by typing this python space bool.py command see it returned output as a true that means this expression evaluated as a true so let me do one thing let me create an expression as 10 less than 5 so you know this is a false statement right false expression so let's see if this expression evaluates to true or false so as you expect it is evaluating as a false you can see right so that means expressions always return outputs as true or false so those true or false values we call it as a booleans in python so let's say i create a variable and i will try to assign a value called true see the moment i try to type this true keyword here it shows some inbuilt and also it shows this particular string i mean this particular text as a blue color so that indicates this is like inbuilt something internally python knows this and the if i try to save this true value inside this variable and i if i and if i try to get the type of x variable now you will be seeing the output as boolean type so let's try to print the type of x variable now and now let's try to clear this and then python space bool.py see x variable type is boolean because you are trying to assign a boolean value into it the moment you do that this variable become a boolean type okay so booleans are nothing but like represent representation of true or false in python okay so then what is bool function so in python you have something called bool function that will also evaluate any value and it will return output as a true or false so usually anything you pass into this bool function you will get true only except if you are passing something empty so when i say empty it it can be like an empty string or it can be like a zero or it may be like a like a empty list or uh, empty tuple or empty set so what is list tuple and set and all we haven't discussed about this yet don't worry in our upcoming videos we will be discussing about list tuple and sets also so any any type of data which is empty if you pass that or if you pass a zero integer or zero number that's when the bool function will return false or else every time it will return true let me practically show you that as well so let me do one thing let me print bool function and into this bool function i am going to pass a string here 
and now let me execute this and see see it returns true if i pass a empty string here so let me remove this hello and let's pass simply empty string and now let's execute this and see see it returned false here right so and similarly let me practically show you that also by passing uh, zero as a integer and also by passing in some some number not zero okay so let me save these changes and then let me run this see it returned false even for the zero right but it returned true when you pass value as one here right so like this so let me quickly show you by passing some empty list so empty list means uh, it's like this okay so in angular brackets then let me pass some empty tuple tuple means it's like curly this these brackets okay then let me pass empty set so as i said we haven't discussed about tuples list and strings uh, sets don't worry in future we will discuss that so now let me execute this all these three will return false you can see here everything is false because you are passing empty so now let me try to create a list which has something so some values and also a tuple which has some values and also set which has some values so i am just saving this now let's try to execute this and see what will happen all three returns true okay so this bool function will help you to evaluate a value and return true or false whether you have some value in it or not okay so this is enough for now to know about the bools booleans and true and false everything hope you like this video thank you please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much